Can you tell us a little bit about your current project? What are you working on now? I'm writing a book about some of the most important technological inventions of the 19th and early 20th centuries. It's about、um, how things like the typewriter or the fax machine were developed, and so on. That sounds really interesting. It is. It's fascinating.、Uh, the personalities behind the inventions are particularly fun to read about. Like a, a, a lot of inventors were amateurs. And some of them were considered to be nuts, crazy, but they had this incredible determination. They believed absolutely in what they were doing. Uh huh. Uh, take、uh, George Eastman for example. He was a keen photographer, and he was about to go on vacation to the Caribbean to take pictures. But then the night before he was supposed to leave, he looked at all this photo gear. And in the 1870s, the photo gear was incredibly cumbersome. All,、uh, you know, glass plates and chemicals and equipment and so on. And he said to himself, "I'm not carrying all this stuff. There's got to be an easier way to take photographs." So he cancelled his vacation, quit his job, stayed home, and invented film instead. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> The guy was a bank clerk, 24 years old, but that was the mood of the time, you know. Talk about a positive attitude! It was a real、uh, can-do spirit. People were asking questions.、Uh, hmm, I-, I wonder if we could have a machine that does this, or, you know,、um, why can't we do that? A- and then they would set out to do it, and they wouldn't give up. But then they also discovered things by accident. Oh yes,、uh, like the microwave oven. The microwave oven was actually developed from the magnetron. That's the power tube that drives a radar machine. One day, this、uh, scientist, Percy Spencer was his name, was standing next to a magnetron, and he had a chocolate bar in his pocket, and the chocolate melted. So he said, "Huh, that's interesting." So the next day, he came in with popcorn, and guess what happened? Pop. Yes, and that essentially was where the idea of the microwave came from, just by chance, really. It was called a radar range because of the radar. Of course, it took a while to be developed and so on, but but that happened too, didn't it? A lot of things didn't take off immediately. Didn't necessarily find a market, right? Right. Some products were just not in the right place at the right time. The classic example of that was the fax machine. I bet you didn't know we had fax machines before we had telephones. Really? Yes, the French were using very effective fax machines in the 1860s before the telephone, in fact. But the idea never took off. At that time, people were more interested in the telegraph. That's amazing. Yes, people have to be ready for a new thing before they'll accept it. It took Remington years to convince people to use a typewriter. Everybody said, "Oh, it's great! It's the wave of the future! It's a wonderful machine!" But they wouldn't,、uh, you know. For ten years, it, it didn't sell, and that was because letters were handwritten. That was what you did. There was a whole、uh, art to writing letters. People didn't think it was appropriate to type them. Because what was typeset was mainly used for advertising, so if people got a typewritten letter, they were either offended or they thought it was junk mail. I guess you had to convince enough people at one time. Right. Eventually, businesses started using them, and then everyone had to have one. But it took about ten years for the typewriter to become really popular.